What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so, in our last episode, we managed to defeat Misty for our second badge right here, and now it is finally time for us to get the heck out of here and move on to better and bigger and better places right here. So, let's get the heck out of here. I don't need to be here. I feel good. I feel great. That's right, and as you can see right here, hey, give me back my Pokeball! Look at that, Squirtle. Oh, look at that, Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirtle, Squirtle. And he's running away. Oh, how could it uh, How could it do such a thing? I need to keep an eye on this house. Get back here. <laughs> well, that Squirtle did it for me, so I guess I'm going to be sneaking in here right now. So, yeah, I kind of need to do that. And, well, as you can see, people got robbed. Pika. And, of course, Pikachu's looking around. All worried. Look at this guy. All concerned and everything, and wow. Okay, so it, it's looking like, oh wow, there's something going on right here, and it notices that fruit. Oh my god. In a big old hole right here onto the wall. So it's letting me know that somebody's out there. Hmm. Okay, I wonder what this could be. Now, if you talk to the people right here. Look at what Team Rocket had done to my house. And they stole my TM. The one that can teach my uh, po my Pokemon like Mankey and Sandshrew uh, the move Dig. Hmm. Well, the move Dig. Talk to this one. Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into something no good. Probably. Now, if we go right here, nothing. Okay, so let's go outside and see what we might find. I don't know what we might find. I, I, I'm pretty much assuming that it's a person out there. So, what I'm going to do right now is... Let's see... Okay, so I'm gonna use Smash right here and kick some butt, take some names, evolve some Pokemon while I was at it, and let's see. Hey! Stay out! It's not your yard! Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander! Don't you believe me? Nope! Never gonna believe you. So here we go, guys, another Pokemon battle against another Team Rocket member, and this guy is like, You are challenged by Team Rocket Grunt. And he'll be coming out with his Raticate. How did I know this guy was going to come out with some Pokemon like that? I don't know. Probably because I played it before. Maybe. I don't know. So here we go. Another battle against Raticate. Let's go with a double kick right here. Look at this one. Oh, yes. Get another one. Nearly beats this Raticate. And here comes its Super Fang. And wow. Nearly takes all our HP right there. So let's go again with another double kick. But here comes its quick attack doing its thing right now so here we go double kick for the win yeah buddy no more Raticade and Bulbasaur grows a level 15 and he's like stop I give up I'll leave quietly and we get some good money for this this is great so what does he have to say for himself okay I'll return the TM I stole and we get ourselves the TM 10 dig which is a very good move for any Pokemon right here I better get moving. Bye. Oh, he's feeling bad about himself. Huh. Okay. Alrighty. So let's move on right here and uh, see what these people have to say now after beating this guy. Let's see. You re oh, you retrieved the TM? Thank you very much. You can keep that, though. I've decided to take my time in training Diglett to have them uh, learn uh, Dig that way. Okay. And if you talk to her, uh, she says the same thing. Okay, so never mind. All right, let's move. Let's move on with our adventure right here. So, after defeating this guy, I think there's going to be one more cut screen right here because uh, our good old buddy Trace might find us around here somewhere. Because we do have two, uh, what you call it, two tickets to the SSN right here. Now, off screen, I did buy myself some more uh, great balls right here, so it will be easier for me to actually capture some more Pokemon. And well. Here we are in Route 5, and of course, we will be finding some interesting Pokemon right here. Not right now. And, well, nothing right there. I think you can actually find Growlithe right here, but look at that. Found ourselves three more Great Balls. And, well, I I will never say no to a Growlithe right here. I kind of want to use Growlithe because it's a very special Pokemon. So let's go right ahead. There we go. Oh, it jumped out of the way. Let's go. Get in there. Stay in the ball. Stay in the goddamn ball. Stay in the ball. 
Got him. Now, I do want to use Growlithe, mainly because it's just it's a pretty cool Pokemon. I really want to use him. But I'm going to have to find the right Growlithe. As you can see, look at that. Growlithe, the puppy Pokemon. A Pokemon with a friendly nature. However, it will bark fiercely at anything invading its territory. It's a pretty large Pokemon right here. And you will be in my Pokedex, which is great. So, let's move on. And look at that. We found ourselves another Pidgeotto right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and do some other stuff. As you guys already remembered, you can actually find the Pokemon Daycare. And look at that. Three more raspberries, which is great. So, let's go right ahead and take a visit to the Pokemon Daycare. So now, talk to this lady. I'm the Daycare Lady. I look after, I look after and raise Pokemon, uh, Pokemon of trainers who leave them here with me. Now then, what would you like to do? Well, not right now. I kind of do have a Pokemon that I do want you to raise. Let's see. Not Mew, though. Let's see. There is a Pokemon that I kind of want you to raise, and that is Aaliyah right here. Yeah. I could, I could give... Yeah, Aaliyah... Okay, so... No joke, guys. When I first played Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, I did get a female Pikachu. I don't know how this whole thing goes, but it was a female Pikachu. And by being female, of course, I named it Aaliyah, just like in my Leaf Green walkthrough. So, what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to drop off Aaliyah in the daycare for quite some time. And... Actually, I'm going to replace Scyther for just the time being. And... Well, we'll get back to Aaliyah eventually, because we will have better moves, so let's go right ahead and drop off Aaliyah. Let's go right ahead and give... Alright. Alright, so... It's gonna get better within time right there. So now, let's go right back to our bag right here and get our new Pokémon back. So let's see... You know... Let's see, I think I should bring back uh, Poliwag for the time being. And then replace two other Pokemon eventually when they evolve, because that's kind of what that's kind of what the plan is. So let's go right ahead and uh, do our thing right here. All right, so if we go into this entrance right here, we won't be able to go anywhere. This guy right here is gonna be like, "I'm on guard duty, and I take my duty seriously." But gee, am I ever thirsty? I wish I had some tea to drink. Oh, hold on there, kid. I'm afraid I can't let you pass through here. Well, you heard the man. We can't go through here. So, we're going to be moving on to another place right here. Grabbing this because there is a Pokeball waiting for us. And we found ourselves another Ether, which is good. And is there another item around here somewhere? I don't know. Nothing. Okay, so let's go right here, grabbing this item. And we found ourselves three Nanam Berries. And would you look at that, our good old friend, what's-his-face, is here. So, let's see, we're going to switch out our Pokemon because it's a little under the weather right now. And, well, let's go with Poliwag right now. And let's see what this guy has to say. Oh, hey, Draven! Seems like we can't, uh, we can't pass through the gate there. But the underground path should take us to Vermilion City. It's a bit dark and spooky, though. Huh? Hold it, uh, hold it, uh, hold still there for uh, one sec, Draven. The hell? No, uh, uh, hey, I play for, I play for my team, man, come on. The hell did you just do? I was wondering what that sparkly thing was. This was stuck on your hair. And I guess we got ourselves a revive? Wow, how do we get a revive like that? Revives can heal Pokemon that have been knocked out in battle. I have a few extra, so here, take some of mine, too. See? I don't think he's I don't think he's a rival. I think he's just a, you know, a buddy of ours. Maybe those will help you uh, take on the next gym. Question mark. Huh. Are those SS tickets you have? Yes. Here, take one. Okay, so there we go. We return to favor. Hey, are you sure I can have this? You know I'm definitely going right. Where do you get this anyway? Eh, you got it from the talking Pokemon? What? Oh, it was a person after all? Well, I guess that's good to hear. Hey, just uh, forget about the whole thing, okay? 
I think I'll press on ahead. See you there! Well, this guy is a Freddy Cat, I guess. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so is there an item right here? I think there is. Maybe. Uh, maybe in here. Somewhere. I don't know. I'm trying to grab something. Nothing. Okay, so we're going to be going into the underground path right here. And, well, let's talk to this guy first. When my Pokemon is on my shoulder, it will let me know with its tail when it when there's an item on it on the ground nearby. Well, I think I've been telling you guys this for quite some time. And, well, there's nothing right there. So, eventually we're going to find the item right here. There's, Yeah, there's going to be some items right here. I'm just going to be pressing the button. And, well, we found this item. Found ourselves a repel. And, well, let's go right ahead. It's right here somewhere. Right here. It's right here somewhere. Where the hell are you? It's right here somewhere. Uh, yeah. I can't I can't really find it right now, so I'm just going to be pressing the button while I'm doing this whole thing. And look at that. We found ourselves a nugget. So he's actually helping us out right now. And, well, he's still going at it. And he's finding another item right here. A pearl, which will actually prove useful for us and well let's see come on well here we have this look at that we found ourselves a lure and let's get it let's get it come on find it found ourselves a fresh water which is good and let's see is there anything else that we can actually find right here nothing okay so we're gonna be going up here and if we talk to this lady let's see what she has to say the lighting's not great in the underground path People drop a lot of things down there, I hear. This is true, and I found a lot of things. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and see what this is all about right now. So, there's some people there. There's some items right there. Yeah, we're going to be finding some pretty good stuff. And let's grab this. Finally, a super potion that we can actually use. And let's see... Is there anything else around here? There is an item right here, close by. I think. Yeah, he notices an item right here. It's right here somewhere. It's right here somewhere. Pikachu, no Pikachu notices... Ah, uh, crud. Come on! Pikachu notices there's an item right here, so where could it be? Right there. Found ourselves a rare candy, which can actually help us out right here so let's go right ahead and start battling some more Pokemon trainers like this guy this guy right here is waiting for us <laughs> I'll battle you like a gentleman you don't say let's do this alrighty so here we go gentlemen Edward would like to battle look at him stroking his mustache and he'll be coming out with an Eevee alrighty bring it on Eevee Let's go. Let's do this. I got a level 20 Pokemon right now, so let's go right ahead with the water gun. And thankfully now it can actually uh, it can actually listen to us. Now, if you guys are wondering, I will be bringing back Dratini later on in, in this water right here. I just don't feel comfortable using it. I think it's when you defeat Lieutenant Surge that you can actually get Pokemon from level 40 to, you know, actually listen to you. And right now it's at level 22. In no time it will be at level 30 and then it'll stop listening to me again. So I'm not going to risk it right now. So let's go right ahead. Another water gun. And this guy right here using a full restore. Good God. Alright, here we go. Water gun. Alright, this this Pokemon right here is pissing me off. So let's go with a hypnosis. Quick, quick attack. Nearly takes us out, and yeah, that's not going to happen. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Sparky right here. The two titular Pokemon. Pikachu and Eevee. Let's go. <laughs> Get it? Let's go. So here you go. Quick attack. Doesn't do very much right there. So let's go right here and do the double kick. And again, it's using another quick attack just to try and beat me right here. So let's go with this. Bam. And another one. Say goodbye, Eevee. Yes, sir. Look at that. And look at that. Sparky grows to level 21. Feeling great about that. And it wants to learn Thunderbolt. Okay. So I'm going to take away Thunder Wave. Doesn't really need it anymore. And look at that. 
Thunderbolt for the win. And Charmander grows to level 16. Smasher to level 19. And everybody else is happy. Look at that. This guy's not happy at all. Not very, very, very happy. And because of that, Charmander is finally evolving, completing the uh, the evolutionary line right here, because I did get my Pokemon Charizard from uh, my Pokemon Home. I actually have all three of these guys. Look at this guy. Say hello to Charmeleon. Now, if you guys are wondering if I'm going to continue using this guy on my team, that is a huge no, because I already have Charizard. As you can see, Charmeleon, the flame Pokemon. Tough fights could excite this Pokemon. When excited, it may breathe out a bluish-white flames. That means it's super strong. Alrighty, and we do have an item here somewhere, right behind this guy. And look at that, we found ourselves a guard spec, which is cool right there. Now, I do have a rare candy. I could use it for Bulbasaur, but I kind of don't want to, because I kind of want to save that up for something later on, and I don't know why I pressed that button. So let's go right ahead and... Well, hold on first. Uh, first is first. We're going to have to actually switch out Pokemon right here. Poliwag, you are... You are getting your butt kicked. So I think I'm going to be going with uh, Pikachu right here. We have yet to use... We got him from the Pokeball that we, uh, we bought. And, well... Let's go right ahead and take on Camper Ricky. Coming with his Sandshrew. This guy right here. So let's go with... Sparky. Sparky the Spark Dog. And let's go with a double kick. Alrighty. Double kick right there. Double kick right there. Not super effective, but this guy super effective, but this guy has scratch attack. And you know what? Gotta switch up my Pokemon. Let's go straight to Bulbasaur right here. And then hopefully we can get it to evolve right here, so. Let's go. Switch him out. Go with Bulbasaur. This guy right here looking mean, and here comes a scratch attack. Alright, you pissed him off. Let's go Bind Whip. And that was a dead... Well, it was super effective, but not that effective. So, let's go again one more time. Vine Whip for the win. And there goes Sandshrew. Look at that. Look at that, and look at that. Okay, so he's about to come out with a Nidoran male. Well, let's go with Smasher right here. Let's go with a a women's touch right here with, uh, you know, Nidoqueen. Our only fully evolved Pokemon right here. Now, technically speaking, we cannot evolve uh, our starter Pokemon, which is Pikachu. Even if you're playing Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, won't do that either. So, I guess two fully evolved Pokemon? Probably, I don't know. Ah, god dang, I'm trying to sit down on my chair right here. And, yep, this Pokemon is making it hard for me to just battle. So here we go. Body Slam. Does its thing. Say goodbye. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. And Mew grows a little 15. And, yes, we have defeated Ricky. Okay, so... I guess I should be healing my Pokemon because, uh, yeah... We, 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 we've been through some battles right here. So let's go right ahead and heal Sparky. And Bulbasaur. Let's go with Poliwag again. And you see, this is why we need Super Potions. A little bit more than just two Super Potions right there. So let's get the heck out of here. And you know what? Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. I have a feeling that she may have the same Pokemon from other Pokemon games. Let's go. Right here. And she's like, excuse me, this is a private conversation. All right. So here we go. Another battle against Picnicker Nancy. And, wow. Totally mistaken that. Hopefully she doesn't have Peck or anything like that. So let's go with Bulbasaur. Don't have the right moves for this guy. So let's go right ahead and switch out. Let's go with Smasher again. All righty. Let's get it, Smasher. You can do this. Look at that. Smasher looking like a Smasher. And here comes its Poison Sting, which won't affect a Smasher right here. So let's go ahead and use another Body Slam. 
here we go. Fully evolved. Body slam. Listen to your mama. And... Well, here we go again with another uh, double kick, but does not work. So here we go. Finish this guy off. Let's get this double kick, or this body slam again. And say goodbye to Nidoran female. Look at that. Look at that. And everybody's getting experience points. So she's coming out with a Jigglypuff. Technically, it's a Fairy-type Pokemon. Eh, okay, let's go right ahead and let's be Strategic Magic. But I mean, poison it, drain it, defeat it. Easy way to defeat these guys. And here comes Jigglypuff. Look at this Pokemon. Look at all peaceful and everything. But guess what? Let's go with a Poison Powder. And here comes its Bite Attack, which... Well... Sucks for you, because I'm not going to really hit you until afterwards. So, that's one. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's go with another one. Leech Seed right here. And, of course, it's trying to store energy. Not physically hitting it, so it won't do anything. And look at that. So, double the attack right there. So, look at that. We're draining it, and it's poisoned. Yes, sir. Look at that. Look at that, okay. And, well, let's finish this guy off with Vine Whip. And it didn't unleash any energy, so here we go, Vine Whip attack. Zapping it and then poisoning it. It's a very good strategy right there, look at that. And another poison. Look at that, okay, so here we go again. Vine Whip again. And that's how you do it, guys. <laughs> with the Bulbasaur. It's about to evolve, guys. It really is. Feeling good about that one. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and, uh, well, uh, this... Oh, wow, there's a bunch of Growlithe and everybody. Okay. Uh, oh! Let's grab this guy. Since we already caught him, or we already got an Ultra Cycle right here. This guy right here. It's gonna be a little hard to actually try and capture. So, let's see. Let's go with a Raspberry. And, well... There we go. Of course, it just moves side to side. It just gets really annoying afterwards. And look at this. God dang it. Nearly got him. And unlike the game right here, it actually will stay. It will not transport. It's just... The biggest issue is that it moves from side to side and it just makes fun of us. Asshole. Okay, come on. And it ran away. Wow. <laughs> just my luck. I will capture it off screen. I will. And, well, there is another Pokemon trainer right here, so let's go right ahead and battle this guy. I've never seen you around. Are you good? Yes, I am. So, here we go. Another Pokemon battle, and it's against Sailor Elijah. And he will be coming out with a Tentacool right here. And, well, of course, I don't have the right Pokemon for this one, so... We're going to be switching out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Sparky. Let's do it. Let's get it. Alright, Bulbasaur. I think you, you're going to evolve after this. So here we go, Sparky. Let's get this. And here comes an Acid Attack. Not so good right now. So, let's go ahead and Zippy Zap our way through this guy. Look at this. Zippy Zap. For the win! Yes, it knew I could do it. Look at that. Tentacool, just don't even try. And, well, Sailor Elijah, not so happy right now. I'm feeling good about this. And, well, let's see. I think there's another Pokemon trainer right here. Now, I could capture these guys later on, but look at that. Radita just didn't care. No Fs given. There we go. Trying to capture this Pokemon right here. Stay in the ball. Stay in there. And there we go. We caught ourselves a Radita. Hopefully get more experience points right there, too. And 50 experience points. And look at that. Bulbasaur has finally grown to level 16. And, well... Evolution time. Finally! Okay, so it took us quite a... It took us a little bit, but... We managed to do it. Now, if you guys are wondering, I'm using Bulbasaur on the team. No, I already have a Poison-type Pokemon. Yes, it's getting the Shaft again. <laughs> My bad. But eventually, we'll be using Bulbasaur or Ivysaur in a, in a game pretty soon here. 
As you can see, Ivysaur, kicking ass, taking names. The bud on its back grows by drawing energy. It gives off an aroma when it's ready to bloom. That's pretty cool right there. And, well, we got another Rattata. And, well, what else is next? We got two more trainers right there. So, now that we're done... Hmm. You know what? Okay, so... What I'm going to do right now is I am actually going to be taking out... Yes, I'm going to be taking out both Bulbasaur or Ivysaur and Charmeleon because I... That's the only reason why I wanted them on the team. I wanted to actually evolve them. And then, there we go. Eventually, we're going to grow them up again and... You know, do what, it, do what we will with them. So, what's going to happen now is... Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm not gonna, I can't be using these guys. Uh, screw it. Let's see. Huh. Well, we could use a Growlithe right here, but eventually we're gonna, you know, we're gonna find a better one. So we're just gonna t uh, stay put with these two Pokemon right here and just uh, defeat everybody, because right now it is currently it's close to midnight. That's the dedication I have for this game right here. And actually, hold on. Let's just go ahead and put Poliwag in the front and hopefully it turns out for the best right here so let's go right ahead and battle this guy huh you want to talk to me yes I do alrighty so here we go another Pokemon battle and this time it's against camper Jeff let's see what this guy's got and wow he's got a bell sprout so I kinda screwed myself right there a little bit alrighty okay I see what you're doing but we gotta switch out our Pokemon, and now we don't really have a Pokemon that can actually get this guy down, so let's just go right ahead and go with Smasher right here. Let's go, Smasher. Let's do this. Let's get this. Here comes an acid attack. Does it do it? No, it doesn't take so much. So let's go right ahead and go with Body Slam right here. Yes, sir. Body Slam takes it. Nearly beats the Bell Sprout right here. And here comes that rapid attack. So that right there is a little bit. Oh yeah, that's bad. That's really, really bad. So, oh god. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use another body slam right here. Let's get it. Body slam for the win. Oh yes. Look at that. Look at that. And Polyswag grows to level 21, and it wants to learn Bubble Beam. So now we can actually teach it better moves right here. Bubble Beam. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Bubble Beam. And, of course, we defeated Jeff. Yes, it does stink to lose, but guess what? I am the best at what I do. So, let's go to this person right here and see... Oh, wow, there's an item right there. And I don't want to capture you just yet. And let's go right here. We found ourselves a Paralysis Heal. And there's nothing. I'm pressing a whole bunch of buttons right here, so... Let's go right ahead and battle this chick. Me? Well, okay, I'll play. Alrighty. Okay, so here we go. Another Pokemon battle against Picnicker Isabel, and, well, she will be coming out with her Charmander. It's kind of a shame because I, well, I wanted to use Charmander in this walkthrough, but since I've used it quite a few times and I'm currently using it for Pokemon X, I think it's best to just use different a different team right here since you guys suggested it. And as you can see, bam! Bubble Beam for the win! Yes sir, look at that! And yes, we have defeated Isabel for more money and more Pokeballs right there. Yes sir, okay, alrighty! Alright, okay, so that takes care of all these people right here. And would you look at that, we're finally in Vermilion City, and if you take a look at this, it's it's Officer Jenny with the Squirtle that took, I guess, one of her things. So if you talk to her, she's like, I just caught a Squirtle that was always getting into mischief. I think it needs a good trainer to set it straight. And she's looking at me, and she's like, wow, you've caught 69 Pokemon. <laughs> 69. You must be a great trainer. I have a favor to ask you. Would you take care of this uh, troublesome Squirtle? Yes, I will. Okay, please take good care of this Squirtle. 
And there it is, guys. We got all three starter Pokemon, and believe it or not, this is the Pokemon I want to use for this walkthrough. I've never used them, and it's a very good Pokemon, and it's our only Pokemon that could Mega Evolve, so I'm very happy with this one right here. So as you can see, Squirtle, the tiny turtle Pokemon, one foot, 19 pounds, and shoots water at its prey while it, it is in water, withdraws into its shell with it when it's in danger. And yes, he has been added to my party, so there we go, guys. We just added our next permanent team member on our team, maybe, probably, I don't know. Look at that. And it's a female, so, wow, this is a team full to, filled with females right here, I guess. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, it's just, this is the truth, and look at that. It is a sassy nature Pokemon, and it does have some pretty good moves right now, so... Cannot wait to evolve this Pokemon, and then just destroy everybody right here and there. So, we're here in Vermilion City, guys. Stay tuned. In the next episode, we will be continuing on our adventure right here, just taking care of business, going to the SSN, and then quite possibly catching some more Pokemon along the way. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.